Now this is an image, a frozen image, that of a right kidney. The age of the patient is five years, is male, and you are seeing the right kidney, doctor study, and we see that the parenchyma is being perfused normally, calluses are dilated, and uh, the resistive index is 0.70, which is with a normal, and the uh, waveform of this kidney is normal. So now let's study the kidney. Here, right kidney, I'm showing you the right kidney, which is uh, showing you dilation of all the calluses, and uh, a topic insertion of the uh, right ureter. You see, this is the this is the lower pole, mid region. This is the upper pole, and here is the ureter, which is uh, now this is the pelvis. It is draining into the uh, proximal ureter here. From here, this is the proximal ureter, and the proximal ureter measures. 8.7 up to 7 is normal, million millimeter. So uh, this is there is a topic insertion of the uh, uh, proximal ureter that is in the beta uh, hilony in the upper pore of the kidney. The kidney is dilated. Otherwise the proximal ureter would have to be actually there. This is the normal position, this is the pelvis of the kidney. Lower pole, pelvis of the kidney, and uh, here is the upper pole. All the calluses we see dilated. And then down here comes the proximal ureter. Here. Again, to show you the pelvis, the ureter. Now, the other thing is, this is not the only finding. This is the spleen. This is the spleen, left diaphragm, and uh, the uh, left kidney is not visualized in this uh, normal number region. We do not see kidney from uh, right lateral decubitus posture. This is the prone posture now. We do see the uh, here. You see the right kidney, but from this is the prone posture. And then I come towards the left side. Vertebra are seeing the, uh, the vertebrae. And there is no impression of the kidney. These are all bowels. Here comes the supreme, the supreme vein. So, let us see the The left kidney is absent. It's not seen in any congenital, uh, sorry, in any ectopic location as well. So, the second finding is that uh, third finding rather. First of all, first is the dilation, uh, uh, dilated calluses with no thinned out parenchyma, but uh, the flow, the blood flow is preserved, beta hilony, beta hilony, uh, blood flow to the parenchyma is preserved, the parenchyma is relatively thinned out, so, uh, and there is a topic insertion of the uh, proximal ureter showed you this one here you see this is the proximal ureter giving you a proximal insertion in the upper pole of the kidney coming down into the ureter this uh, into the pelvic region this is the urinary bladder this one this is the urinary bladder and here you see a tubular structure which is seen adjacent to the uh, now this tubular structure that you are seeing is adjacent to the urinary bladder opens in very close and adjacent to the UVJ on the right side this is the dilated ureter dilated distal ureter 
giving it a form of a unitary seal, measures approximately 5.8 cm to 1.5 cm with the calculus within it, and the calculus measures approximately uh, 10 into 6 mm. This is the region where the ureter would have been opened into the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder, this area. This is the ureter of seal and here uh, is the calculus within it. Now you see this is the twinkle artifact from the uh, calculus and this is an artifact from this uh, image that you are seeing that of the twinkle artifact into the urinary bladder. It is an artifact, it's not uh, real. Now in transfer section, again, now this is the transfer section and you can see the dilated distal ureter, this one. This is the dilated distal ureter on the right side with the calculus within it, this is the urinary bladder. So, now let's see the status of the uh, urine jet. right side, from the right side, and this is the urinary bladder. Now, is there any urine jet seen on the left side? Let's see that. You will repeatedly see the urine jet on the right side, but will not, I have not been able to see the uh, urine jet on the left side, keeping the probe for quite some time in this position while I was standing previously before making this video. So again you see there is urine jet seen on the right side and is not seen on the left side because the left kidney is absent congenitally. So this is a case of uh, ectopic insertion of the uh, right ureter into the kidney with the ureter of seal on dilation of the distal ureter, you will be able to see the peristaltic movements. If I keep the probe in this region, you will see peristaltic movements in this uh, here, here, here you see. So uh, this is the dilated distal ureter and forming a ureter of seal in this most distal part where it's open, where it opens into the urinary bladder with a calculus within it 